a much requested video on my channel the uh, settings for x defined i am a controller playing on playstation 5 i use the dualsense edge and these are the things that i use and some of them i would definitely recommend using so i just quickly want to go through them uh, with a guide and also the stuff that i personally use that's just kind of personal uh, field of view 120 it is a little bit too much for most uh, but if you get used to the game i think a high field of view Makes you better uh, aware of what's going on around you in high action packed moments because you can see more of your screen. If you have ADS FOV, if you have a high field of view, be sure to have ADS FOV on the consistent. If you have a low field of view, you're not really going to notice a difference when you put independent or consistent. Independent will pretty much going to, when you ADS, it's going to put you to the default field of view, which I believe is quite low. So when you put this on independent and you have a high field of view, it's going to zoom in a lot. If you have it consistent, it's not going to zoom in as much. ADS behavior, I have this on hold. This is pretty much default stuff. Um, this is all kind of whatever you prefer. Um, this one's quite useful if you're trying to... You know, fight an enemy, you still have some bullets left. You can interrupt the reload with just ADSing. Then these are also just some whatever you prefer settings, but this is what I use. Also very interesting, damage numbers, I have them on. Enemy health bar, definitely turn on. These two, I would definitely recommend turning them on. Also challenge notifications, it's quite useful if you know if you're doing something right. Um, I have them on all. So if you're working towards something or the daily missions or whatever, you know when you're completing them and you know if you're doing it right. So if you're trying to unlock weapons or daily missions, that's what you can do. For controller settings, the interesting stuff, button layout here. I have a brawler flipped. So I shoot with uh, L1 or R1 and I aim with L1 and then I knife with circle and I crouch with R3. So those are the main differences you have. You switch up R1 and R2 and L1 and L2 and switch up uh, Circle and R3. I have a DualSense Edge controller, so I also jump with X. Now aim assist is kind of whatever you prefer. Um, definitely on controller, I'm not gonna lie, the aim assist is quite strong in this game, but you're also at a huge advantage if you don't use it. So this is what I use. Uh, linear, best for muscle memory. Uh, makes it the most consistent and this is the uh, sensitivity that I use 85 85 with a zoom of 75 and when I snipe I use 0.5 not the best sniper in this game to be honest so maybe this needs some tweaking uh, then the dead zones the left dead zone doesn't matter as much definitely don't put this too high but if you put this too low you're gonna be moving when you don't want to be moving you get some stick drift on it if you, even if you have a new controller probably you get some stick drift pretty fast if you put this too low so don't put this too low, uh, but having this low can make your aim a little bit faster and a little bit more consistent. That's why I have the right stick a little bit lower. Left stick is for movement, obviously right stick for aiming. Acceleration, put this on zero, especially when you're using linear. Otherwise, using linear doesn't really uh, matter that much. So put the acceleration speed on zero, and then I have all these options off. Audio. Whatever you prefer, this is what I use. Music very low, uh, the dialogue volume kind of low because it's not really interesting. I think these stuff can be interesting and also uh, you want to nicely hear the kill sounds, of course. Uh, so this is what I use. Uh, this is mostly for a solo player though. So if you play with friends, be sure to tweak these a little bit. Video, I have a brightness of 10, which I believe is actually the default one. Uh, which works perfectly for me. If you want to use a 120 refresh rate, be sure to turn HDR on and um, uh, put this on because you can. You need to do this manually. I think by default it is off. Um, because I'm recording, I have this off by default. Sadly, I cannot use the 120 hertz uh, refresh rate. And then the language stuff is not very interesting. You can put the flashbang. I'm gonna do that right now. I didn't know this was a setting. Funny enough. Uh, flashbang effect put that on dark it's probably gonna be better for your eyes <laughs> when you get flashed in this game matchmaking um, interesting thing here the input based matchmaking only matters when you have crossplay on if you have it off this really doesn't uh, matter that much um, so be sure to have it on if you want to um, and you can turn it off uh, but then the input based matchmaking only matters if you have crossplay on or off it's basically gonna search for other controller players if you use controller and you have this on on. So that's gonna be it for the settings. Hopefully this was useful. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them down in the description. I'll try and answer them.